This is case D08392854D. D. Counsel, your appearances, please. Good, morning, or good afternoon, Your Honor. Brandon McCoy on behalf of the plaintiff who is present, bar number 10402, appearing unbundled. Andrew Taylor, bar number 8688 for Mr. Bally. All right. So. Where are the kids uh, living now? The kids are living with the father. Does mom have a place yet? No, Your Honor, I do not. Has the uh, child support, the alimony been paid? No, and that's the problem. Has anything been paid since the last time we were in court? Um, He's made, uh, he missed a payment of the 870 you told him to pay, so he's already missed part of it. And then he hasn't paid anything, not even a cent through the alimony. My understanding, Your Honor, is that, that he has paid the support, but not the uh, alimony. He's backed out. If he's paid that, we'd like to see it, or how it was paid. He, how has he paid it? Through the uh, child support services. Is that through a garnishment? No, I just go down there and make the payment by the last th by the last day of the month I told you to. You have documentation of that? I, not with me now, but yeah, I, 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 I didn't know that was an issue because I pay her on, uh, at the end of it on the last day of every month. I just made the payment yesterday again. Your Honor, and I do. We have an updated audit from the child support division. If I may approach and provide a copy to them, um, she she obtained this yesterday. I just I don't need to see it. Okay. Um, but as far as the payments go, there's there was a spousal support payment that was that these are two thousand nine, Your Honor. Okay. There's there's nothing. There's been child support payments, but no spousal support. The last payment that they have on child support was September 5th. It's been October 1st, September, or excuse me, July, and then May. So, Before he told me I mean, pay. here's my question. What does mom need to get back on her feet? I mean, how long is it going to take? She's in school, um, close to finishing school. At least because. And the, the issue is the um, the fact that he's not paying the spousal support. I know. So, but your, when is your graduation? I know this was, I, it was supposed to be in December, but I had to stop that. And um, I'm hoping to make phone calls and try to get a little bit of money in, but I can't do that till January or something. January of this year. June of this upcoming year. I'll district unpaid <laughs> and then I'll be graduated and hopefully a full-time position but right now I don't I have a full-time your position. degree is in education yeah, secondary education. where are you currently residing um, between a few people here and there and so you're just moving around friends yeah your honor and there's no way you can get back enrolled in uh, school at this point in time um, I've taken two classes just to defer my um, student loan far as my senior teaching, I've had to uh, drop out of that until our plan. Okay, so it's the student teaching, it's the practical stuff that Correct. Yes. that's holding you up now. And and our, I, I will have my degree once I do that. Yeah. All right, uh, Mr. Taylor, where's your client working? Your Honor, he's uh, trying to open the, the Fat Loss Center. I understand that. I mean, we mentioned this last time. It's in the same location as his last business. Um, next door, same well, next door, same, different, same, different same. So he's area. still he's trying to work for himself. Yes. Okay. No reductions. No reductions. Get it paid. My patience is wearing thin. If you come in and ask me to change your child support again and your alimony and you haven't been paying and you don't have a job, I might just throw you in jail. I have been paying. I might just throw you in jail because obviously you're not doing anything outside of jail. 
You're living off residuals. You're trying to do something on your own. She's busting her ass to better herself. You've gone through college. You've got degrees. And what are you doing? What are you doing? I explained to you the last time that I went through a lawsuit. My name is Mud. I cannot, that, that's, I can't well, do that. Well, maybe it's time for you to buckle down and go get a job outside of that community. Maybe it's time to move out of town. Maybe it's time you do something so that you can provide uh, for your family, for your obligations. I mean, I appreciate that the children are residing with you. I do. But I'm not granting a reduction. And Mr. Taylor, caution your client. If he comes back and asks for another reduction and can't show me that he's applied for a job, that he's made some work search, that he's showing me some damn good faith effort, I'll send him across the street and he might learn some new job skills in there. Going to vacate it. Your Honor, my understanding was today's hearing was a status on the self-reporting to provide proof of income. That hasn't been provided. Um, my understanding it, as well. It hasn't, and I haven't modified his child support or his alimony, and I'm not going to. And he's going to continue to incur those expenses subject to all the interest and penalties. And, man, I just... I, I guess what I would, I would ask with respect then to... The custody that she's not prejudiced based on that because she's certainly not prejudiced. I, she, the, as I previously stated, I appreciate that he's given the place the kids a place to live, but he only has to do that because he hasn't been able to meet his obligations to his family uh, by paying a, the, his alimony, his, his uh, child support, and the appropriate uh, levels. And your Honor, my understanding too that there was a subpoena ducis tecum or a subpoena that was suggested as far as getting proof or information on this alleged lawsuit and how it's essentially devastated him or the settlement. I have that subpoena. I don't know if that's accurate as far as the court signing off on the subpoena. Well, if I need um, to sign it, I'm more than happy to sign it for you. We have one here to get all state insurance company to release whatever I approach. All right, Mr. McCoy, you'll prepare an order for today? Uh, yeah, Your Honor, we would ask that my, I was retained. My client paid me to be here today. We would ask that those attorney's fees be awarded as well. He hasn't paid. Um, he's brought this motion in bad is he, faith. Is he current in his child support since July? My understanding is he is, he is Your Honor. He, he's, it's been in May, since May, right? He's behind one payment, Your Honor. I am not. Well, well he's missed I mean, today is October 1st. If he went down and paid it yesterday, then... It's right. not showing up. He, he did miss a payment earlier. I, no, I, I didn't. Ask I did not miss issue, any payments. I would ask on the issue of spousal support because that hasn't been paid. And the fact that he's here asking for a reduction that without any self-reporting that those attorney's fees be At awarded. this point in time, each side's going to bear their own fees and costs. I, I mean, I apologize, but I just... Each side bear their own fees and costs for today. One of the procedural issues, there's, there was a child interview that was done. There was a fee that was sent to the plaintiff for that interview. How much was it? It was $150. I don't know if the court has the ability to waive that. The defendant should have paid the entire expense associated with the child interview. They sent her the bill. and It was $300. They, sent, they said it was, the, it was split, 50-50. I get $150. She got $150. All right. I'm going to order you to pay $150 within the next 30 days. Okay, prepare the, so the, whole, the, the So the entire 300 Yeah. I guess, Your Honor, could we set it out for uh, some sort of status on the his income and his employment so that we don't have to bring a motion and okay. incur additional fees three or four months out? Because if, if he's still not paying, then my client's got to pay for a motion and Give me a date in the end of January. Okay, Your Honor, this will be more of a status check on his employment situation. Yeah. January 27th at 2.30? Yeah, January 27th. 
with respect to custody, so there isn't no well, any Well, what it is, it's a, it's a, we're passing on the order to show cause until that point in time. We're not reserving the request for a reduction. He would have to file an appropriate motion to renew uh, or an, a reduction. This is for an order to show cause. Why he should, uh, shouldn't be held in contempt uh, if he's not making uh, payments or pursuing uh, employment, gainful employment. And then when she does have her place, Your Honor, if she qualifies for state help or whatnot. Yeah, or as soon as she's in, she's... We just don't want any issues with there shouldn't, the children being There shouldn't returned. be any issues. Okay, we'll, we'll put that in the order then. And Your Honor, just for the sake of clarification, this will be a, a status on whether or not he's been paying the, the ordered 870 a month and alimony or just the 870? The 870 plus the alimony. I mean, if I... I, you, you think I'm going to get a job making enough to pay that? I don't know, because you haven't, uh, I, I mean, you haven't even applied for a job, have you? Well, he's a chiropractor, and he, had his, he has a practice, we believe, and, and so yeah. doing I that. I don't have a practice. Well, <laughs> you've you got a building where you're trying to open life. up a fat clinic. I mean, you could just as easily hang up a sign that says chiropractor. That you've got a license. That would be working for myself, too, though. Huh? You said you, that would be working for myself. You were mad that I'm trying to work for myself. Well, at least you'd have some money coming in. You either, you either need to make money. Or go get a job. I'm not telling you you can't work for yourself. I, I, but if you work I, I'm for yourself, you, you I agree. I agree 100. I mean, I need money too, so I'm not yeah. arguing with you in that sense. I'm saying, what a job are you saying I should? I mean, any job I should go get a job at, at McDonald's for eight dollars an hour? How can I pay well, this for that? I any, can't. Any job would be a step in the right direction. Okay. All state might not hire you, but another company might hire you that does insurance. Uh, there's you go work for other chiropractor. No, I yeah. cannot. <laughs> They're not okay. So every chiropractor right. in this town thinks you're a, a scumbag and won't touch you. It's not uh, was pretty much. I mean, there's very few chiropractors in this town that are actually getting insurance anymore, right? I mean, nobody's on insurance. I I, I never did it, so I don't. Okay, I there's did, a I few. Did, oh, you know, there's right. people that are getting paid cash. There's people that have. Okay. I mean, I don't know. Well, he has two degrees, Your Honor. So. No, I don't. Got his chiropractic and so What's physical the therapy one? or whatever else he can do to get it. Well, I don't know if he can do physical therapy. Yeah, I hate it. Okay. All right. Go go back to school. Get I another won't. degree. That's what I was trying to do. All right. Good luck. All right. Thanks, Your Honor. Commissioner McCoy. Yeah, we'll prepare an order. I'll so nothing on page six for child support abuse. Yeah. What did you say? What page did you say, Brad? Called Flores and Becerra, even there. 